Go. All right, everybody. Badass Billy Gunn, you're not. But news. I got the guys. I got the got the people to do it. F and True Wrestling interviews. Give you the best interview, unless of course it sucks. <laughs> then you won't get a good review. But of course, if you're not down with that, two words for you. Suck it. Welcome to the FM brand of wrestling and entertainment here on YouTube.com and the World Wide Web. Providing you with wrestling news, reviews, rumors, and insight you've grown accustomed to since 2010. My name is JC Styles, and I am back with another video for you guys today. And I thought it'd be kind of cool to showcase some of the wrestling-related items that I received for Christmas today to add to the collection. As you guys can see, I'm a big pop collector, and right over here above my head, you guys can see that I have quite a few wrestling pops with the New Day right over here. But without further ado, let's get right into the first item. It is a WWE pop figure. It is of one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. And he is wearing his WrestleMania 12 attire uh, when he took on Bret Hart in the first ever 60-minute Iron Man match. And that is the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Now, I do know that there's another version of Shawn Michaels uh, where he's wearing the red and black or red and white striped pants when he first broke into the WWE uh, when he was uh, paired up with... Um, Sensational Sherry. Uh, next thing is another WWE wrestling related. Uh, this is not a pop figure, but it is a shirt. And for those of you guys know, I'm a big AJ Styles fan. And this was one item that I was not expecting that I was going to get. And it is the black version of AJ Styles' previous shirt. It is AJ Styles, the house that AJ Styles built on the front, and then on the back you got the P1 for Phenomenal One. Now I was really excited to get this because like I said, I'm a big wrestler, uh, I'm a big AJ Styles fan. I did want to get the bundle that WWE Shop had where it came with the hat, the gloves, uh, the wristband and the shirt. And I do know that there's another uh, variation where it comes with the replica vest that AJ wears. But moving on, uh, this was a surprise gift that I really wanted to get. I actually got my father the exact same one. And it was funny enough that my parents got me one as well. Um, I did ask uh, if they were going to get one for me. I asked them for the white one. Just because I think that the white just really pops with the green. But <clears throat> it is the Money in the Bank briefcase. I'm sure you guys already seen these on YouTube. Uh, so I'm not going to go in depth uh, in a review of it. But right there is pretty cool. You can uh, put your own combo and uh, put some of the stuff that you like. I do not know. I don't think I am going to be using this as a suitcase. I think this is going to just sit up on the shelf uh, behind me. So that was pretty cool. Um, I want to try to get all the money in the banks. I know that they have three more on the shop. They have the white women's one. They have the green one. Uh, and then they have the gold one, if I'm not mistaken. I think the gold one is the biggest out of them all. Um, and then I think the green one is about the same size as this one. And then the white one is a little bit thinner. Uh, but it's the same size, but it's just thin. Um, so, these <clears throat> I was really excited for when I heard that they were coming out. Um... At first, they were only a, uh, I believe they were only a Hot Topic exclusive, but then they started popping up all over the place, and I'm really excited that I got these, because I think these will really make my collection stand out just a little bit more, and these are the New Japan Funko Pop uh, figures, and the first one in the lineup is Kenny Omega, the cleaner, which is pretty cool. <clears throat> And then the next one in the set um, is former WWE Intercontinental Champion and 
I believe he's the current NWA World Heavyweight Champion. And that is the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes right there. It's pretty cool. Um, I'm really excited to have these because I'm a big uh, Bullet Club fan. Um, I just don't understand why they uh, didn't come out with the villain uh, pop figure. Uh, maybe they'll come out with him a little bit down the line. And then uh, last but certainly not least, probably one of the greatest tag teams in the world. They are doing phenomenal in the indies. And I really hope that we would see them in the WWE. But they recently uh, said they turned down a WWE contract. But in the month of January, we usually hear a lot of rumors and speculation that cont uh, wrestlers will be... Uh, Offered contracts and deny them, and then they show up as a uh, special entrance in the Royal Rumble. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that these guys will show up in the WWE uh, to challenge some of the, uh, the the teams in the WWE. Um, I know that they don't like the revival that much. So with that being said, it is the double pack of the Young Bucks. box looks like on the back on the side Nick and Matt Jackson so guys that is all for my wrestling related uh, Christmas gifts this morning so I would like to see and hear what you guys got so go ahead and drop your comments in the comment box below and let me know some of the items you received that were wrestling related for Christmas uh, I will be posting at some point today uh, Smackdown spoilers uh, I will not be home to review, so make sure you guys uh, stay tuned for the spoilers if you guys are just interested because it is taped. Uh, I know um, if you're following a lot of wrestling groups on Facebook, I know one match was already spoiled. But with that being said, guys, like always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, share, and click that notification bell so you guys can be notified when more content is made available for the FM brand of wrestling and entertainment here on youtube.com guys enjoy your merry christmas and too sweet